Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Grinch heart cookies. Okay, let's start off with our ingredients. First you need one cup of unsalted butter, which is two sticks at room temperature. One cup of sugar, one large egg, one and a half teaspoons of some kind of extract. You could use almond or vanilla. I'm using the cake batter extract. I think that's going to give it just a real yummy flavor. I really do like that stuff. And then we need a half a teaspoon of salt. You need three cups of flour. You need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. You need green food coloring. And then we need um, red Jolly Rancher candies, preferably cherry. Um, if you need to use, I'm going to use some fruit punch because I didn't have enough cherry. But um, in the grocery store, I actually found little bags of Jolly Ranchers that have all the red flavors in them only. So I only had to get three little bags, and I had almost enough to do it. Um, but I think the fruit punch will be fine. But you kind of don't want to do strawberry or watermelon because they'll be more of a pink color. Oh, and then, of course, you're going to need some hearts. So we need a little heart and a bigger heart because we are going to cut out the little, the little heart from the big heart. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so up first in a large bowl, we are going to cream together our sugar and butter until it is fluffy. All right, next we are going to add in our egg and extract and mix that until it's combined. All right, that looks great. So next in a separate bowl, we're going to whisk together the flour, baking powder, and salt. All right, that looks good. So next we are just going to add our dry into our wet a little at a time, stirring it in between. All right, that looks good to me. Um, I just went ahead and mixed it with my electric mixer as much as I could and then just finished it up with a spatula. So now we are going to add in our green food coloring, and I'm just going to mix that up with my spatula as well. Okay, I finally have my desired green color that I want. Um, actually, it could be a little darker, but um, that really took a long time to mix all that in together. So next we are going to either lightly flour a surface or you can roll this out onto parchment paper, which makes it a little easier because then you can just transfer it right onto your baking sheet. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 and get your um, rolling pin ready to roll. Okay, my first six is ready to go into the oven, and we are going to only bake those for five to six minutes um, because that's just as long as it takes for the Jolly Ranchers to melt. Um, and I will say this dough is awesome. It is not sticky. It is just awesome to work with. But I didn't know how far to spread mine out, so I'm just going to do it like this for now. So like I said, five to six minutes at 350. All right, my first two batches have come out of the oven, and they are so so cute. I love them. Um, so now we are just going to let them cool completely before we remove them from the parchment paper. Um, they need to kind of stay on the pan to cool. You can stick them in the fridge to help, but you want to make sure that your hearts all stay intact and that your Jolly Ranchers are nice and hardened back up. All right, my cookies are all done and set up. And they just look so awesome. Um, I had some dough left over, so I just made some little cookies. Um, actually, I only ended up making 22 of these. So you could make 24. See, I made at least 24. But I just wanted to make some regular cookies. Because these cookies are so good. And some people might not want the, you know, candy part. Even though they are delicious and so adorable. So we'll see what Taste Tester thinks. Hey, Taste Tester. Have a little taste. Yum, yummy. Do you like it? Yeah. All right, everyone, come back and see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.